Good morning, you guys. It is January the January the eighth, uh, twenty twenty, and guess what time it is? That's right, it's prep time. Yeah, we're starting prep tomorrow. Uh, I just talked to the coach, and um, he said we are at, I guess, maximum weight or whatever. I I weighed in this morning at. 172 which was which is up about it's 20 to 25 pounds since I was on stage in June so from June to January we put on about 20 to 25 pounds uh, I do believe that a whole lot of it is muscle um, we have been clean eating all the way through so for the past uh, let's see, June, July, August, September, October, November, December, January, the past nearly seven months uh, has been clean eating. There have been some cheat meals and stuff, of course. I had holiday meals and birthday meals and so forth, but uh, for the most part, I have kept my prep protocol, program, nutrition plan, whatever, um, uh, and just we added in... Um, well, more of everything, basically. So, added back in the carbs, and, and you know, you know how that is. Uh, we gradually tapered off cardio. Uh, never really got rid completely of cardio, because for me, um, it just makes me feel good. And I'm not doing it to try to maintain a weight or to you know to lose weight or anything like that but when I do cardio I simply just feel better and um, that's kind of what I was going for with this prep was just to learn what um, what foods make me feel best and then also the amounts of um, exercise cardio training what sort of training works best for me um, and just kind of figuring out my body again. Uh, it has been an emotional roller coaster with me. Um, you guys know my backstory and how big I was <clears throat> when I was a kid and then all the way up till about the age of 30, just a really big lady. And so my entire life has been built around losing weight. Like that was focus. We have to lose weight. A lot of weight and so you know my food has always been a really big deal the uh, amount of calories that I ate has always been a really big deal I always tried to be under maintenance calories even though I didn't know what ma my maintenance calories were I just figured that the less calories that I could eat the better because I needed to lose weight and so my brain was always focused on weight loss, weight loss, weight loss, weight loss. So for me to go into off season and then we did do a reverse diet to where I did go back to two weeks before prep, or I'm sorry, two weeks before contest, I went back to the same diet and cardio that I was using at two weeks before contest. We went right straight into that, which is called reverse dieting right after um right after i was done with my uh my show and um it did help very it helped me a lot because i needed it i needed the structure of it i couldn't he asked me he was like okay well what do you want to do after show and i was like what do you mean what do i want to do after show we're going to continue to do the same thing that i've been doing because this is my life. <laughs> this is not, uh, yes, we're going to, you know, prep for a show and we're going to, this is my goal, but the rest of my life is going to be lived in a structured way. I mean, that, to even think that I wouldn't have that structure, it scares me to death. So I said, no, you're not going anywhere. Like, you're not just my prep coach. <laughs> you're, you're the man in my life. <laughs> so uh, anyway, so I stuck with him, of course, and I plan to stick with him till the day that I die, or he does, whichever comes first. Um, 
and uh, we just, you know, uh, upped calories gradually. We uh, decreased cardio very gradually. Um, I did start to gain weight, and it freaked me out a lot um, at there at the beginning. And I, I want to say even towards the middle of it all, it just... It freaked me out, like, to see the scale go back up again from, let me tell you something, I worked hard, and you guys, if you follow me, you know, but I worked hard to get that weight off for that show, and to see it creep back on, it it freaked me out, I'm not going to lie, uh, yeah, it freaked me out, and so I fought it, and um, I went back to prep calories. I didn't give a damn. I went back and I did 1200 calories or a thousand calories for a lot of weeks before I told him what I was doing because he was wondering, you know, he kept, he kept adding <laughs> calories and carbohydrates and all this stuff. And I was still losing weight and I was not telling him that's not a smart thing to do. By the way, if you're paying a coach to help you, um, if you're doing something like that, you need to tell them. And I just didn't want to tell him because I knew what he was going to say. We need to gain, you know, we need to add the calories back. We need to gain weight gradually and so on and so on. I knew in my brain that that was the right thing to do. I just didn't want to do it. Um, and so we, uh, I mean, it, it was a bad thing, but in the long run, it kind of was not such a horrible thing because I ended up not gaining um, nearly the amount of fat that I probably would have gained if I would have, um, just gone straight from show to, you know, crazy calories. So anyway, so we have minimal fat right now, which is good. Uh, I feel great. Like, especially right now, I've got a few supplements in me, but, um, it's nothing horrible. I'm not going to grow a penis or anything like that. Um, but I feel the best that I have felt in so many years. I can't even tell you like for so long, I felt like I wasn't even laughing ever. And it wasn't because I wasn't happy. It's just that I never was able to manifest, I guess, that amount of joy. And I, I think it was because a few things, you know, um, I think my soul was a little bit just downhearted and, you know, I felt run over. And then also, like, my body would just had it. Like, I was just done with dieting. And um, I needed, I needed the break. So, this was really good. And I'm at a place now where I'm very happy. Um, my soul feels good. Like I said, I'm laughing again now, which is good. And I'm laughing hard, which comes from your belly, you know, and comes up into your chest and you know that it's a genuine type of joy. And so that's, that feels good. But as I stand right now, I feel really heavy and I've got a little bit of, uh, he said it's probably tennis elbow, um, uh, you know, my clothes are starting to get really tight. <laughs> That's another one. Don't buy clothes when you're right out of contest or right before you go into contest. Don't ever do that. There's just no reason because you're only going to be able to wear them for a few months before you start gaining weight again. So I'll never do that again. But, um, yeah. So anyway, tomorrow's day one of prep and I'm so excited to get, you know, to see what we got. Uh, hope you guys are doing great. This is my painting shirt. It's also my baking shirt. Uh, this does not go away. Just so you know, it doesn't come off. I've washed it five times. And uh, anyway, I will keep in touch with you guys. And let's do these. Yay!